done, guys. We're down to our last speaker. Have we all had a great night? Yes. I know. All right. Well, hopefully you've all taken away something with you, at the very least, to be what our next speaker is imploring you to be, and that is creative. Let's hear it for Willie Barnett. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I am going to show you a few of my sketches while I try to encourage you to be more creative. I drew this when I was seven, and my mom kept it in her purse till I think I was 30. This I drew when I was in college and I had a weird obsession with rats. <laughs> and my mom never put this in her purse, I promise you. So you may be asking, why do I care if you are more creative? First of all, I think you're going to be happier. And I like you, so that's important. I also think that you may be thinking, well, being creative means that people might judge me. It's scary. It can be frustrating. And the truth is, yes, it is very scary. And research tells us that creative people are more confident, more courageous, more compassionate than those who aren't. And the big secret is that creativity is going to save the world whether it's art, whether it's foreign policy, whether it's a new hat for hipsters, whatever it is, it's going to require some creativity. I spent a lot of my career in the advertising design world. And in 2006, I sold my company. I went back to school and got an MFA in art and technology. Now, I am an artist and I teach at SMU. I teach classes primarily in portfolio development. And one of my favorite classes is called Intro to Creativity. We talk about a lot of things in this class and one of the things we discuss are theories of teaching creativity. Pragmatic, mystical, psychometric, psychodynamic. We ultimately get to the realization that creativity at its core is unknowable. However, we also talk about creative techniques, the things that anybody can do to get unstuck. That technique might be something like running, it might be taking a shower, it might be taking a nap, it could be looking at YouTube, it could be doing anything. But there's one technique that works for everybody, and that is being kinder to yourself. And I maintain that if you can do that, you will be more creative. That means no judging. That means no saying, oh, this sucks, or even worse, saying, I suck. And when your parents or your friends try to do that, you still say no. There are a lot of enemies to creativity, and one of those is fear. The fear of failing, the fear of succeeding, the fear of offending. I am going to maintain tonight that fear is good for a lot of reasons. One, fear lets you know that there is something to do, that's something you need to do. I also will maintain that failing is not only good, but it's necessary. It tells you that you are taking risks, that you are not playing safe. <laughs> Another enemy of creativity is censorship, and that doesn't just mean places where you can't say fuck, it's the voice inside of you that says, don't do that, don't make that, somebody's not going to like it. And what I want you to know is no matter what you do, somebody is not going to like it. And that's okay. So be nice to yourself, take some risks, have some fun. Many of you might know I've been working on a project called We Are All Homeless for 22 years, which I've been buying and collecting signs from people on the streets. Now, when I started doing this, people thought I was nuts, and they are correct. However, the point is, I had no idea that 22 years later, a video about this project would get uploaded and be seen by 6.3 million people, or that it would lead to exhibits or um, a documentary or any of the kinds of ripples that have happened because of this. My point is that you don't know either. If you are more creative, you have no idea the impact you might have. Now, you are going to have to uh, trust the process, 
you're not going to know every step that's going to happen in the future, but you are going to have to take the next step. And what is that step for you? Is it buying a sketchbook? Is it taking a class? Is it writing a poem? Is it dancing? Whatever it is, do it. The world needs you. Thank you.